Hello, welcome to a new section, Set Analysis and Point in Time Reporting. In this section, we will introduce a few new concepts, like the set analysis and modified record sets. Then we will move ahead to the point in time reporting and comparative analysis with alternate states. We will approach these topics with the use of some practical examples. Given the harshness of the syntax we are going to use, and the complexity of the expressions that can be built with set analysis, we recommend you to have a lot of patience and dedication to the subject at hand. Even with the best reference material, set analysis can take a while to master, so don't lose heart. Now we move on to the first video of this section, that deals with set analysis. In this video, we will cover topics such as when to use set analysis, why you should use it, what the correct syntax is, and we will provide common examples and several tips and tricks for maximizing performance as well. Set analysis is a great feature in ClickView that lets you, as a developer, take control over what your charts display and allows calculations that wouldn't be possible otherwise, at least not as dynamically. To understand its inner workings, we can compare it to how selections that are made using list boxes work. These are some situations in which the use of set analysis is practical, like to compare results for two different time periods in one single view based on the same selection state, to restrict or exclude certain values in a field from the calculation, to create a cumulative sum or year-to-date result even if the user selects only one month, to disregard selections in a certain field that may not be applicable to calculate a particular metric, to essentially ignore all selections, to use the set of data returned by a bookmark even when the bookmark is not activated, to replace if expressions that make use of lots of hardware resources, a mix and match of all of these. We will first work our way through the set analysis syntax. The details for creating a set expression are outlined in the next step-by-step -step procedure. Here, we start off, create a chart and name it basic set analysis example, and select straight table, and add carrier group and carrier name. Next, we go ahead by defining the base expression. Say we want to sum the total number of flights performed, so, we will begin with sum of departures performed. Then we need to construct the set part of the expression. It is the set expression in which we specify the record set we want to use in our calculation. The set definition is placed just after the first parenthesis in the base expression, before the field name, and will be enclosed in curly brackets. After the first curly bracket, we define a set identifier by adding either a dollar sign, which means the alternative record set will be initially based on the current selections, the number one, meaning we will use the full record set of all the data contained in the document, ignoring all user selections or the ID of a bookmark. To illustrate our example, we will use the dollar sign identifier, since it is the most common. Right after the dollar sign, we define the fields that will play the role of set modifiers, this is the part in which we specify what to add or exclude from the initial record set. The entire set of field value definitions will be enclosed in angle brackets and the syntax is shown on the screen. Different variations to this syntax are also shown here. The value definition can also be a set of different values, in which case each element is separated by a comma. Once we add the set modifiers, our set expression will be complete and have this structure. Taking our base expression as a starting point, let me show you some examples. So, let's add the first one, sum carrier group equals foreign carriers departures performed. This will result in the total number of flights performed, but only taking into account the record set defined by the current selections which is done with the dollar sign, and where the carrier group field has a value of foreign carriers. All other carrier groups are excluded. In this example, if the user has specifically selected a different value in the carrier group field, that selection will be overridden 
and the calculation will be made based on the modified record set. It's important to convey this fact to the end users of the ClickView document and add pointers in the user interface as to what each calculation is being based on so that the use of set analysis doesn't negatively affect the user experience. Let's click on OK. Here we give the label as foreign carrier flights and click on Add. After this, we add another expression. In the Edit Expression window, add this expression. This will use a record set based on current selections, where the year is 2010, even if the user selects something else in the year field. Add the label as 2010 flights. Similarly, we add another expression just changing the year to 2011. Now we can go ahead and add the next expression. This will use a record set based on the current selections where the carrier's operating region field is either domestic or Latin America, and only those records corresponding to the year 2010. Notice how two elements in the field value definition have been separated by a comma. Click on OK and add the label as Domestic and Latin America 2010. Another important aspect is using variables in set expressions. It's sometimes convenient to make use of variables in set expressions to make them even more dynamic. We've previously discussed how variables alone are used. We will now go through some examples of set analysis expressions that make use of variables instead of hard-coded field values. As before, we use the dollar sign expansion syntax inside the field value definition or element list. If, for instance, our variable contains a number, we would type the set analysis expression as this. On the other hand, if our variable contains text, our expression would be modified to this. We have just gone through a basic introduction on the topic, but there is a lot more to know about set analysis. Let's move to the next part and discover some more of it. Our next step will be about making our modified record set dynamic and based on the user's current selections, that is, using a calculated field value definition. By doing so, the alternative record set will dynamically change depending on what the user selects. To embed actual calculations into the field value definition in a set expression, we use the dollar sign expansion, that is, DSE syntax. And here's the final expression. As you can see, it is just as if we were using a variable, just with an additional equal sign and the expression itself. Here, the DSE function is to evaluate the enclosed calculation, and the set expression will only use the output value in the set modifier. We provide the label as current year flights. Similarly, we can use the set operators, set modifiers, the part of the set expression that is enclosed in angle brackets, can also be constructed by combining several different element lists in the field value definition. Furthermore, the entire set expression can be composed using several different set modifiers. This is accomplished using set operators. The different set operators that can be used are union, exclusion, intersection and symmetric difference. Let's create a chart. Select the straight chart and give it a name, say set operator example. From the available fields, select carrier group and carrier name. Now the set operators work in a manner similar to the assignment operators described previously. Let's review some basic examples. Here I add a simple example. This expression will return the total flights performed in the years 2007, 2008, plus all of the years that are less than or equal to 2000. Similarly, we can add an expression like this one. This expression will result with the total number of flights performed during 2011 by carriers operating in Latin America, plus flights performed during 2010 by carriers operating as domestic, but exclude foreign carriers from both sets. This is one of those calculations that wouldn't be possible with simple selections. Just as in arithmetic operations, parentheses can be used to enclose different set operations and ensure they are evaluated in the correct order. 
click on OK and add some text for the label. And move ahead by clicking on the Finish button. Let me expand this table. Cool, looks nice. Now, there are two special functions that can be used in set expressions to implicitly specify an element list. The functions are the P function and the E function for all possible values and all excluded values respectively in a field as the element list. Let's take a quick example. So, we create a chart with a straight table. Name it as element functions example. In the Dimensions tab, add Year Dimension and click on Next. In the Expression tab, add this expression. This expression will use the full set of data disregarding all user selections, because the specified set identifier is the number 1, but take into account those records corresponding to the years that the user has selected. In other words, only selections made on the Year field are considered. Let's click on OK and provide a label to it and click on Finish. So, this is how you should get the output for the element function's example table. The possibilities are endless. Take a moment to try it out in the Airline Operations document and see for yourself what you can do with set analysis. In the solution file corresponding to this section, we've included an additional sheet named Set Analysis with different examples of set analysis uses. In this video, we explored about the set analysis.